Anne Lister was a remarkable woman. She lived at Shipton Hall in Halifax and she was a landowner, traveller, scholar and Anne is also considered by many to be the first modern lesbian. From 1817, Anne recorded extensive and intimate details of her life. She wrote almost 24 volumes over 8,000 pages and around a sixth of these are in code. The diaries are kept with us at West Yorkshire Archive Service, Calderdale. Screenwriter Sally Wainwright tells Anne's fascinating story in the BBC drama Gentleman Jack and it was this project that initiated the digitisation and conservation of the diaries. Over the following year we carried out extensive conservation treatment on the collection. Although the vast majority of the diary pages were in very good condition, conservation treatment was still needed to the page edges, particularly at the front and back of the diaries. We also needed to repair the spine folds of the pages. To repair the spine folds, we first needed to remove the hardened animal glue from the spines of the books. We did this after softening with a gel. We then used torn strips of Japanese paper, which we like for its soft and long fibres, to uh, adhere to the spine folds with wheat starch paste. This repaired the tears and also enabled us to re-sew the book back together. For the damaged edges, we traced out Japanese paper pieces uh, precisely to fill in the gaps and applied them in the same way. Finally, for the damaged areas affecting Anne's handwriting itself, we used an extremely fine tissue which we applied using a gel and this enabled the paper to be strengthened without obscuring the text. The bindings needed a variety of treatments as they were the most damaged part of many of the diaries. We again needed to remove the hardened glue from the spines as well as sellotapes and labels that had been applied previously. We did this using a heated spatula. Some of the bindings had to be completely re-sewn as the 200-year-old thread that held them together had broken. In some cases, the corners of the boards needed repair. We inserted very thin pieces of card into the corners to strengthen them, and then we used a paste made from hemp fibres to rebuild them. Where the spine piece was missing or severely damaged, we replaced it in order to be able to reconstruct the rest of the binding. While the glue was drying, we held the new spine pieces in place by bandaging the diaries up securely and it looked a bit like a book hospital. Finally, where new leather was needed to cover the spine or corners, it was dyed to match the original and also paired to give a smooth join. Tucked into the back of many of the diaries were Anne's loose notes. We carefully cleaned them to remove any dirt and then we repaired any damaged edges. Like with the diaries, we used traced out pieces of Japanese paper to fill in any missing areas and we used a very fine tissue to support any damaged text areas. We created albums to mount Anne's notes into and these will keep them safe and secure as well as enable access. My favourite item is the flower that Anne picked and pressed between her diary pages while she was on her travels. Although it's now mounted safely, its imprint remains and to me it feels like a permanent reminder of the bold and adventurous spirit that's captured in Anne's diaries.